Hey, what's up, the WizKid29, I'm here recording some more of Sonic Unleashed for the Wii, and this time I have a very special guest with me, say your name. Hello everyone, I am SuperSonic2015, representing SuperSonic2015 and SuperSonic Chaos Commentaries. Yep, he has a whole bunch of channels, and he is with me because I am feeling quite bored with just myself, and I thought I might get some guests in on this. And we're going to the village of Chunan Day, and we're gonna... I mean, night, and we're gonna, I forgot where we're supposed to go, but yeah, so I've been just taking a break from recording for a while, and that's why all of a sudden I decided just to get back to this, and actually, I went to Target recently, and I got to play Sonic Lost World for the Wii U. It was nice. actually, yeah, it was actually pretty fun to play, I mean, the controls were way past freaky, I'm not even gonna lie, like, it was weird to control. The parkour system works nice, it's just that I, it took me a while to get used to the button layout for everything. But other than that, the game runs, it runs smoothly. I'm not, I'm not even going to like say anything about frame rate issues. None at all. The game looks fine. I don't see what the whole hubbub was about, actually. It, it actually felt pretty fast paced, because I found times where I couldn't even control myself, like where I was running. But that was mostly my fault, in like the pure speed that he has. Yeah, the, the the only version I've played of Sonic Lost World, I've I've, I've got the full game, is um, the 3DS version of Sonic Lost World. Yeah. Which, yeah, according to Colleen, is the worst damn Sonic game <laughs> ever made. <laughs> yeah, I've seen people play. It doesn't look interesting at all. I'd rather play, um, what it, what was it? Sonic Generations for the 3DS. And even that was pretty bad. <laughs> Yeah, Sonic Generations is the best game ever compared to Sonic Lost World. Yeah. Because in Sonic Generations, the special stages, they even though it is, it is just a copy of the Sonic Heroes special stages, they did improve on it. Yeah. But with uh, Sonic Lost World, they just they had a good setup for a special stage. You have gone through space, collecting orbs to lower the force field to get the Chaos Emerald. Yeah, because doesn't it have like gyroscope controls and everything. Yeah, and it's awkward. Yeah, I um, haven't. It, yeah. Yeah, and if, if you, <laughs> like Comet said, if you're in a, a, a public space, you'll look like a complete idiot. Oh, yeah. If you play these special stages. <laughs> True. So I, I had to spin around in the chair to yeah. even yeah. turn properly. Yeah, they have to use that gyroscope control somehow, and they found out a way to perfectly mess that up. Uh, it, the reason why I'm now saying is because I live in the U.S. where we don't have any demo whatsoever of Sonic Lost World. While the, I think Europe and Japan has like the Wii U version and 3DS. Nope. We don't. Me, me, so, me, me and uh, Europe doesn't have that. Oh. oh, okay. Yeah, so <laughs> we don't have it. And it the first time, like my face, I was just like fanboyed. Like when I saw like, ah, oh my gosh, I was just like freaking out. And they had Wind Waker HD, but who cares? I wanted to play Sonic Lost World. Yeah. <laughs> and that was my experience this weekend. It was pretty fun. Yeah, and then and then some kid had to ask me to get off because <laughs> I was taking way too long. <laughs> yeah, I, I, th I think that's a store in the city center of Glasgow. It's game, but I, I, that Wii is barely on. Yeah. So I think the last game they had on it was uh, New Super Mario Bros. U. Yeah, because like it took them a while to actually update all the stuff. Like there's games coming out, and I don't think they just got like Wonderful 101 and everything, even though that's been out for quite some time. And yeah, but I got to play it. That was the thing. The it's more like an event, like a Sonic Adventure. I don't want to like compare it to Sonic Adventure, but like the whole feel of it, like you had to go look around for like the red medals, even though like it wasn't my game. I actually wanted to go look around for it, to see like how easy it was to get them out some parkour and so I, I was walking around I found like two but the others were <laughs> not to be found because like it's so big and like the place is so bad and I I'm not gonna like be on the what is it uh, you know the little hate train over here but the game does feel similar to Super Mario Galaxy with the way it plays out oh, oh yeah and Nintendo did have a big part in the creation of the game so 
Yeah, but I'm not I'm not gonna say that totally like makes the game crap because copying Super Mario Galaxy is probably the best thing Sonic can do right now because everyone loves Super Mario Galaxy and you know, mix that with Sonic, that has to be good, right? Um, unfortunately for the 3DS version, that is not good whatsoever. Because <laughs> I, I've played it before, and I don't want it, like, in my house at all. Yeah, it's way too, it's way too slippery. You, 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 you do get used to it, but, um, you, should, you shouldn't have to. And yeah. some of the stages are just stupid, that you, they force you yeah, to use the wasps. Yeah, especially since like Nintendo games have always been easy to control and use, and even little kids can come and pick it up. And with this, like Sonic Lost World being so difficult to start off with, because even me, like as old as I am, like had trouble playing the game without like, because the controls are very weird. Like you, the A button on the Wii U gamepad to obviously jump and homing attack. The B button is just to jump, but if like there's an enemy nearby, he won't homing attack. The Y and X button are to, like, if it's a homing attack, like, what is it, like the, like the little circle <laughs> on the enemies, he'll do the kick, and it's also the bounce brace whip button for both the X and Y. And then, of course, everyone knows the ZLs for the spin dash and the ZRs for the run. And, you know, the, the way the Wii U gamepad is in my hand and everything, I just don't feel like, it's a good button layout, but it just takes some time to get used to. It's yeah. nothing like Super Mario Bros. Wii, where and that game was actually pretty easy to get used to. Just the whole thing. I found myself, like, many times, like, I would jump, press the B button, because, well, you know, that's the closest thing to the Y, and that's, like, the way I've always played games since, like, DS. And I found myself, like, jumping off edges instead of homing attacks, because, with the pure fact, it wasn't on the A button. The homing attack button is A. So, that's what I mean by, con like, confusing controls. But of course, yeah, you, I can... th you think they just um, have it so you press the jump button, any of the jump buttons twice to an attack? Yeah, I think in a review they said they they did that whole thing just so it can be easier for pe like for people who don't want to like uh, strategic people who don't want a homing attack like at that moment that they can just jump. But that was not smart at all. That's like putting the boost button and the homing attack button on the same thing, like for Sonic Unleashed. It's not really that drastic, but it's kind of close, in my opinion, at least. And for, like, speed-wise, the whole game is not slow whatsoever. I don't know what kind of thing IGN was on or GameSpot. Whoever reviewed the game and said it was too slow. Too slow? It could be slow in the first playthrough. Yeah. Because you do... You, you don't really necessarily speed run in your first playthrough. You yeah. don't like try and go really, really fast for your first time. That's so right, it could idea. be slow during your first playthrough, and that's probably what IGN and GameSpot are gone by. Like they just play it once and then they they write the review. Yeah. So I found myself actually walking because I I enjoyed walking around, like enjoying the music and looking around the graphics. I, I didn't really feel like running or spin dashing. And the parkour took me a while to get used to. But that's just personal problems. There's nothing wrong with the game. And we got a level up. Awesome, level 2. And I, I totally forgot I was playing Sonic Unleashed. I'm just like in this whole Sonic... Sonic, Sonic Lost World. Which I want to get so bad. Yeah. For the Wii U, of course. I still, I still need to get a Wii U. <laughs> but of course, the game's probably going to drop down. Cause I remember like when I got Sonic Colors... The game was like 20 bucks, and I think I got it like a week from release date. So, I don't know if that was like the starting price, but I was super happy to get a game so cheap and be a good game. Like, it was a good game for 20 bucks. You can't get any better than that. Yeah. It's better than buying a terrible game. Like, like when I got this one, when I bought this for my Wii, like, I was watching YouTube Let's Plays for PS3 and Xbox version. I was so disappointed to get this one. And I did not realize that Wii actually had a difference, because I was still young. I didn't realize Wii was the, you know, inferior to Xbox and PS3 standards graphics. So, little naive me bought this, but it, it turned out to be a pretty good buy. When Once I got, like, leveled up and used to controls and got myself a classic controller and everything. Worked out yeah, pretty well. Yeah, the PS2 and Wii version is pretty good, but the Xbox 360 and PS3 version is a 
yeah, all the things they are. I enjoy playing the PS3 version the most. Well, actually, no Xbox, because it has shorter loading times, but that's no problem. I just prefer PS3 because of the button layout, and I like like it better. It, it comes naturally to me. Shapes better than letters. And I've been playing Nintendo my whole life, so of course, like the classic controller was no problem. Yeah, I've got I've got I've got the PS2 version. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't find myself playing it all that often. If I want to play Sonic, at least I'll play the PS3 version. Yeah. I think I played through the PS2 version once fully and only now and again would I go back to it. Yeah. But the PS3 version I would go back to speedrun through the uh, daytime stages all the time. Yeah, because that game's super duper fast, like for a Sonic game. And I think that's why people were complaining about Sonic Lost World being so slow because all the games in the past, especially like, ex and like this one too is included, they've always been fast but you know, you don't need fast gameplay to have a good Sonic game. I mean, first people complain about twitchy controls and adventure. Well, not adventure, but what um, Black Knight and Secret Rings. Twitchy controls going way too fast. Then he goes so fast that you can control him, but you can't see where you're going exactly. People enjoy that. Then you give them a slow-paced game where you can choose to go either fast, slow, or really slow. And they complain about it. I, I just don't get people. They will never be happy with Sonic. They will always diss him, act like he's just another game character. But no, Sonic is special. He's different. He's not like a Call of Duty with your realistic fish jumping out of water. I mean, it's a, call, it's a cartoon game. Yeah, you, people gotta realize that. And now that the Xbox One and PS4 are coming out soon, and why can't. Yeah, it comes out for on Friday for me and I saw I went to Toys R Us they had the Xbox one on display so I was like what but anyway I guess that's what every kid's gonna want on their wish list okay I'm gonna jump up here and, and I'm sorry viewers but I haven't been paying you much attention anyway yeah so you want to come over here this is a little secret no oh my gosh and, and yeah, if any of you guys have any, any, um, you know, take on Sonic Lost World, had any playable experience with it, uh, you guys just let me know in the comments below or what you think about the versions that you've seen on recent YouTube videos or just like what you think in general. If you're gonna get it for Christmas, uh, right on that wish list or just gonna pass it by because it doesn't look like such a hot game. Yeah, I'm guessing Supersonic 2015 went to go do something. It all happens to us. We all have to take a break. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're back? Yeah. Yeah. I was just so talking. Somebody was talking to me, though. Yeah, I was just talking to my viewers. And going about on this stage. Which, I forgot to mention, is my least favorite stage because of the very fact the waterfall section coming up right now. And is that? Mm. Yeah. This stage, I, like this part, I don't like because if you fall down, you have to start this all over again. I, it's just so annoying. Mm -hmm. And I, my I, practice I, runs, I managed to do without falling, of course. I think I remember playing this. I, I, I think I remember um, not being there. <laughs> yeah, there is. There's a capsule level. Yeah, I remember this because I died the most. I've got five game overs on this part. Alright, alright. So let's go over here. Not much else to talk about. I mean, <laughs> I'm going back to Target definitely to try out how to see if I can like finish all my experience in Sonic Lost World. Because that game is definitely, from what I've played, is no letdown whatsoever. It's good looking out to be like my favorite 3D Sonic game. Well, other than Adventure. But, oh. Right yeah. now, I'd probably say my favorite 3D Sonic game is probably a tie between Sonic Generations and Sonic uh, Heroes. Oh yeah, cause uh, I, I mean, I never really, I only like the Sonic part of Sonic Heroes. Beating the game with the other characters, especially Team Chaotix, was not a pleasant ride for me. I did not enjoy it, but that's just my opinion. Of course, I did finish the game, and I did play it, and it was fun, but... You know, going back and getting all the characters were quite tedious, but what game isn't, or what can't be? 
like all the new Super Mario games coming out. Which, by the time I'm recording this, Nintendo had a Nintendo Direct. And, uh, it looks like this, you know, the next year and the ending of this year is going to be pretty good for Christmas seasons and game releases. But Mario yeah. has nothing to do with Sonic. With his, I hope Sonic goes back to Top Party, because... Have, have any buy a Wii, a Wii U just for a Sonic game? Yeah. I think that Nintendo's gonna make another Sonic game for the Wii U, so I better be looking out for that. Just want to log eyes. <laughs> okay, it could, either, it could be Sonic for Episode Three, or Sonic be... Adventure, and they can do it right because now that the Wii U can handle, you know, th those good graphics, and I don't think Sonic's really looking for super realistic after Sonic 06, yeah. but he is looking for good looking. The state, the style of him. That they've got just now is good. So they started in Sonic and Secret Rings. Yeah. Sonic Colors actually did look good for a Wii game, and Sonic Lost World looks pretty good for, you know, a Wii U game, of course. Not as good as it could be, but, you know, for the simplistic cartoon look they were going for, they did a good job with that. Yeah. And uh, we're almost done with this stage. Just a few more. I think just like a. Like a enemy rush up ahead and then I think I'll call it an episode. Awesome. The thing I love about these stages is that they run for like seven minutes and if you don't get the recording in, you have to record everything all over again. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like my fair hair but you spam the the night stages in the PS2 version no. but the, the PS3 version does go the the next stages do go on long. Yeah. But it's even worse than the PS2 version, so there's um, even more uh, nighttime stages than there are daytime stages. Yeah. I forget I have Unleashed mode. I don't know why, I just keep forgetting. So useless. I mean, the combos are enough. Mm. Anyway. Well, I, always, I always forget I have the, <laughs> that in the PS2 version as well. Yeah, it's just down there. It's like, oh, S rank. So that's two S ranks. For this video so i guess i'm gonna end it off and say thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy the video please remember to comment down there like and subscribe to my channel and super sonic 2015 or super tales 2015 and uh the other one yeah <laughs> <laughs> is there anything you would like to say um yeah th th thanks for letting me be here yeah yeah, yeah anytime i mean i always was looking for somebody to record with um, anything actually. So if you guys have Skype and you want to add me, you know, just write chat me up because I'm not that big to where the point I'm gonna ignore any requests. So like I said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>